Hi, I'm Marie from Marie's Custom Quilting, and today I am doing part one of how to make a t-shirt quilt. So if you come over here, you take a look at this t-shirt quilt. It's a sampler. It shows what t-shirts look like when you cut them out and you just sew them together and then quilt it. What we're going to be doing is adding sashing, extra fabric here, which will add color and depth to your quilt. All right, so... Take your t-shirts. They should be clean, dry, and not wrinkled. This t-shirt has a, a logo on the back and it has a logo on the front. I want to be able to use both of them. So what I'm going to do is take my rotary cutter and very carefully, so as not to cut myself with it, I keep this hand away and I'm going to cut up the edge of the t-shirt and out up this edge of the t-shirt and then cut across the shoulders. This gives me two pieces of fabric now that I can work with makes it easier on the big logo i like to use my 12 and a half inch square ruler i line it up so that it's centered with about an inch to a half an inch on each side and then i cut it notice how this hand is pretty far away from the knife i don't want it anywhere near that knife Okay, I was a little bit off here, but that's okay. It doesn't matter at this point in time if I'm just a hair off. So that's a nice 12 and a half inch square. I'm going to set that up there. And now I'm going to take the logo. The logo's smaller, so I'm going to use my six and a half inch by 24 and a half inch ruler. And I'm going to cut a nice long piece. The reason I like to cut a long piece is not all t-shirts are the same size. And I might need more fabric on a piece. So this will give me a long piece just in case I need it. Okay, so now I have some pieces cut. Part two will be where we take them over to the ironing board and we put on the fusible back. 